introducing you to the wonderful world of movie physics. Yes, they're great, but of course, sometimes things don't quite add up. We'll take our first example from the wonderful Black Panther. In this scene, T'Challa returns to fight the Killmonger and commands Kabi and his army to attack T'Challa. This in turn creates a pseudo civil war where rhinos are led out onto the battlefield. T'Challa in the scene, with the use of his super suit, brings down a rhino and receives a force greater than what a human can take. Rhinoceros weighs approximately 1,600 kilograms, and in some cases, 1,800 kilograms. Using 1,800 kilograms, the momentum applied by a rhino running at max speed of 15.278 meters per second is 27,500 newtons per second. T'Challa was hit by a rhino running at full speed with that same force. The rhino's momentum was transferred to him, and his body, standing at rest, would not be able to take the full force of a rhino charge without per se living. Uh, the force applied over the course of 0.1 seconds or more would be near 2,750 newtons, or 59.52 g's. It is more than the maximum number of g's that a human can take. Recording. For research purposes. We need that footage. Cap's looking fresh in this, isn't he? In the scene, we have Bucky trying to escape from Captain America's reach because everyone in the world thinks he is a mass murderer. And in this scene, we see Bucky lifting off with a helicopter and Cap rushing in to stop it in time. But of course, we see Cap under the influence of his super soldier formula, stopping the helicopter from taking off. We have to ask ourselves, is this physically possible? So Bucky actually is inside of an Airbus AS350 helicopter that has a lifting capacity of 3,000 pounds or 1,360.78 kilograms. The force that he must be applied to lift is 13,336 newtons in the, in the other direction of the load. Therefore, Cap must be pulling at the helicopter with the opposite of the lift force and even more to bring it back to the platform. The average pulling force of an average person is 100 to 200 newtons, of which Captain America's powers come into play. According to Marvel and the extended universe, his strength and agility are equivalent or just about greater than the top Olympic athletes, which is not nearly close to the newtons required to keep the helicopter at bay. In this next scene, we have Wonder Woman, who wonderfully saves the village of Feld from German occupation by destroying a ton of stuff, even the building. Oops. But yeah, the villagers later thank her for her bravery and justice, yet she took down the whole German occupation in this town. 
Of course, she had help from her powers. So, so this A7V German tank, which weighs 33 tons or 29,937.1 kilograms, is the object that Wonder Woman flips over. It is armed with 57mm guns, and she stops a shell from it at 23 feet midair. But that's not the issue in question, it's flipping the tank. The downwards force caused by the gravity of the tank is approximately 293,383.5 newtons, which is the force that Wonder Woman must exert upwards in order to lift the tank. The maximum amount of Gs a human can withstand is 46.2 Gs, but this force would be approximately 30,000 Gs, of which only our amazing Amazonian can pull off. Over to our very own amateur city superhero Spider-Man, who's here to save the day. In the scene, he's rescuing his romantic interest and his best friend Ned from falling in an elevator while not letting everyone know his true identity. Parker stops the elevator just in time to save everyone within as he pursues his goal of being a true hero. The average elevator weighs 1,200 kilograms and the weight of four passengers, each weighing an average of 60 kilograms comes out to a total of 1,440 kilograms. So the force of gravity, Fg, is equal to 14,112 newtons. Assuming that friction is negligible and considering the small amount of time it took for the elevator to fall at such a high velocity. Spider-Man's web must be able to bring the elevator to a stop and the acceleration of the system to a zero. Therefore, his web must be pulling upwards with 14,112 newtons of force. Spider silk, which is as strong as steel while maintaining one fifth of the mass. Spider-Man's thread in this situation was nowhere near the required 288 kilograms needed to stop the elevator. And plus, where does he store that? Assuming in this movie his silk is artificial, we don't see any of his real silk from previous Spider-Man movies. It's really cool. This webbing. The tensile strength is off the charts. Who manufactured that? I did. Climbing walls? How are you doing that? Adhesive gloves? It's a, a long story. I was... Uh... Lordy! Can you even see in these? Yes, yes, I can't, look, I can't. So that's it. Uh, this is four recent examples of movie physics, three of which are Marvel, and one from DC. 
you guys have any of your own?